Hey Frozen community, it's Claire. Today we're going to unbox the Frozen post-processing kit and demonstrate how to use the tools inside. Let's start and see what you'll receive inside the 3D post-processing kit. The tools in the post-processing kit can be categorized into four major purposes. First, the tools before starting the printing process. This includes a silicone mat, a pair of gloves, and sandpaper. After the print is completed, we'll use a metal scraper, a brush, and a clipper. Then we can use silicone scraper, the plastic scraper, wire mesh, and a foldable funnel to help us clean the aftermath and pour the remaining resin back into the bottle. Lastly, after we complete our printing process, use the cleaning cloth to keep our workspace clean. Before we start, lay the silicone mat on a flat surface for our working area. The silicone mat's material is easy to clean and will keep your table free from any resin. Remember to wear gloves to keep your hands protected from alcohol and other chemicals during the whole process. Once you finish printing, remove the building plate from the printer and lean it against the steel plate at an angle. Carefully remove the printed object using the metal scraper from the post-processing kit. Use the brush from the post-processing kit to get deep and remove any resin residue on your models, even in the crevices. Make sure to completely post-cure your model. Then, we can easily remove supports from the model with the clipper. After your model is done, we'll clean our vat. Pour your remaining resin back into the bottle through the wire mesh on the foldable funnel. The wire mesh will help filter out any residues and cured resin from the vat. Use the plastic or silicone scraper to gently scrape off the release film, making sure that every last drop of resin from the vat can be fully transferred back into the resin bottle. Last but not least, spray your dirty silicone mat with alcohol and use the cleaning cloth to wipe off any resin residues on the silicone mat and other surfaces, so your working environment remains clean even after printing. That's all about the post-processing kit. We hope this video shows you how to use every tool in the kit and help your 3D printing journey. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications for more exciting news from Frozen. I'll see you next time. Bye!